Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In the previous video, I showed you how to create an S3 bucket using Python Boto 3, which is the AWS library which we can use to interact with our AWS resources. In this video, we are going to make a step forward by uploading a file into the S3 bucket we created last time. Okay guys, this is where we ended last time and we are just going to continue from there. So right here, I'm going to create another method, another function which is going to upload our file to S3, the S3 bucket we created yesterday. So here I have dev and the name of my function is going to be upload to S3. And this function is going to take my file path and it's equally going to take my bucket name. Okay. Now I'm going to use Python's open function to open this file. And later on, I'm going to use this S3 client, which is from Boto, to be able to upload it into our bucket. And this open takes in parameters. This is the list of the parameters which I'm having. And the parameter is going to be this one, which is the file path. And another parameter I'm going to give is the R and B. And what does this mean? It means it should read this file in binary mode. I'm going to open that as a file. And later on, I'm going to use this S3 client to upload it to our bucket. I'm going to copy this dot, and the method is upload file object. And this upload file object takes in parameters as well. So the first parameter is going to take is the file. The second parameter is the bucket name. And the third parameter is the name of the file we want to upload. So when I have the path, I can obtain the name and I'm going to use the OS module to get the name from this file path. I'm just going to have the file name right here. os.path.base name and I'm going to give it okay the file path name here so we can try to lock that we have our logger which is working so here I'm going to have info and inside info I'm going to have the name of my file so here I'm going to have dot format and I'm going to pass this name okay so that I can see what is here we can equally lock the file path and the bucket name that can be of interest when we are debugging our applications now I need to pass this file name which is the third parameter to my client upload okay so that is it it's supposed to work this way but remember we are missing one thing we have not handled the exceptions to handle the exceptions here i'm going to do one thing i'm going to put all of this in a try then here i'm going to accept I paste it there, okay? Okay, so now we have to test what we have written. So I have a file, not a file, an image, which is this one. I'm going to copy it and that's what we are going to use. So right here, I'm going to paste it and we are going to change this backward slash. So I have control F, I change the backward slash to forward. Okay, replace with forward. That is what I'm going to do, replace all. I copy this and I come to my, and we are going to test it. So I have to comment this because I don't want to create a bucket any longer. And what we are going to do is we are going to test upload to S3. So here we have upload to S3, which takes a file path, which is this one. I didn't change this, sorry. Okay, now what is our bucket name? 
our bucket name, I'm going to upload it to bucket created using Boto3. So that is it. Let's run this and see what happens. Mm. Permission denied. Okay, the permission is denied on OneDrive because I'm surely storing this on OneDrive and it doesn't like it. Oh, sorry. There is a problem here. I have the image, but I didn't put the name. So I'm going to put the name right here, which is this, and let's see what happens. I save it, I run it again. I run it again, run in. Okay, object has no attribute of load file object. I definitely made a mistake with the name of the method. So that should be uh, object. Is that the way it's supposed to be? I run it. Okay, so let's go to our logs and let's see what happens. Mm, we have a lot of things in our logs. Oh my God. So this is what happens in the log. For some reason, the file part has not been printed. And then we have this one which has been printed up here, not on a, not on a separate line. So we have the name of the file which has not been printed. The bucket name has not been printed for some reason, I don't know. Then the bucket name, the file name is not been printed. I don't know why it's happening like that. And uh, if you look at it, this is all what AWS is logging. When we are trying to upload the, the file into S3. So if you analyze your logs, as I told you, it's very important to analyze your logs. If you analyze your logs, you're going to see here, we have the bucket and this is the name we gave. This is the key. And we have some extra arguments. We are going to go down again. I go down. This is the event we are calling. I'm not seeing any error. So I suspect that we have uploaded our file into S3 successfully. I go down. Then we have this URL path, which is used to put the object. I look at it and bucket created using Boto3. And this is the part where our file is going to be, our picture is going to be uploaded. Then the method is a put method. Then you have these headers here. So you can see all what is happening behind the scene when we call the function upload. And here we have this URL, okay? Then you can look at that. So there are a lot of things which AWS puts into the log. I'm just going to go down and here you can see we have a put of yes she codes which is the name of our file i go down i go down there is no error there is no error okay so that is it you can analyze that on your own so i have no error we are going to go to the aws console and we are going to check that so this is our console here this is the bucket we created yesterday this is equally the bucket we created yesterday. This one was for the second test, so I can delete that. I'm just going to copy all of this. Okay, I paste it here, I delete. Now I go back to my bucket and we have bucket created using Boto3. I click on it and as you can see, we have our picture right here, which has been uploaded. So we successfully did that using Boto3. The objective of this video has been attained. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends. Bye-bye.